Hey everybody, let's just jump right in on how we can build with Langchain in JavaScript. We will be looking at six files, one which we just make a simple call to GPT 3.5 Turbo. Second file where we use a prompt template. Third file, we're going to look at how we can implement an agent in JavaScript. Fourth, we're going to look at how we can use memory with our calls. And we're going to look at streaming, and we're also going to do combined activity where we are actually combining memory with also streaming. So this should be a fun, quick start. Let's just begin. All these files will be available at Patreon. Link will be in the description. We do need Node.js installed to be installed in our system. You can install it from Node.js.org. Our dependencies here will be Langchain and SERP API and also OpenAI. Let's install OpenAI along via Langchain and SERP API is already installed. And we install with npm install dash capital S OpenAI. We will actually add that dependency to our package.json file. As you see, our package.json has been updated with Langchain, OpenAI, and SERP API. When you install with dash s, then you can actually just do npm install. And an npm install should install from the package.json. All the requirements. Another interesting thing is that if you want to, instead of using this const require arguments, if you want to use import from, then all you have to do is in package.json, you have to define type as a module then you can use this import style importing. If not, you can actually use the require method as well. These will be in the files anyway. So we are importing from Langchain LLMS OpenAI. We are importing OpenAI. Here I made a comment about the dash S. We have to define our API key. I am retrieving it from my environment variable. You should probably should do the same, or you can define it by uncommenting this line explicitly in your code. We do define it here as OpenAI API key, process.n, OpenAI API key. Then we're defining the model. You can also use GPT-4. We're going to be using 3.5 Turbo for the rest of the video. We define our model as 3.5 Turbo and temperature 0.9. And we just simply make a call and get an answer for what is a title for a video that talks about JavaScript. To run this, I am in the exact same working directory, which I'm working on Visual Studio Code in the terminal. And all I have to do is note basic.js. And here we got a new response, unlocking the power of JavaScript. So this is it. This is a good start. But if you wanted to wrap this, instead of doing it like this, in a function call, we can do that too. Here we are defining async function GPT call. And we are getting a response by evading model.call. What is the title for a video? And then this function actually logs it automatically. Okay, so this is our function definition. And then we say GPT call dot catch error and console dot log that error. Okay. So you can actually use this. You didn't really necessarily need that, but that is actually useful just in case we get an error to be printing it in the terminal. So if we were to run this, just like we did before, not basic.js, then we're going to get another response, elevating your JavaScript knowledge. So you can call it inline like this or with a function. I just want to quickly mention, if you want to use the require argument for when importing the library package, then simply remove this type from the package.json, which is like this and save it. Let's take a look at the prompt template. We are importing OpenAI prompt template and the LAM chain. We are defining API key. Our model is the same. And then we define a template. What is a title for a video that talks about language here, I'm meaning programming language. Then we are defined. Our prompt is a new prompt template. Template is the template, which we have defined here. Input variables is going to be the language. And our chain is going to be new LAM chain. LLM is the model we have defined in line 15. Prompt is our prompt which we have defined here with the prompt template. Then we just simply make a function called GPT call and we await the chain call with the language being JavaScript. And then we call that function with error catching. If we run this, cool way to get the quick way to get the file name, right? Is that if you type in the first letters, first distinguishing letters of your file and then click tab, it will actually find it. And you can click tab to scroll if there is multiple matching ones. Anyway, we have found it, prompt template.js. Let's run this. And we get a response saying exploring the power of JavaScript. Then we get an object with a text key in it. So we can actually change what we're printing. Logging to the console is res.text, lowercase, of course. And if you do that, make sure to save your file before running it and run that file again. And this time we should only get the response unlocking the wonders of JavaScript without the object. 
Next is the agent. We are importing OpenAI, Initialize Agent Executor Options, Serp API, and Calculator. Like I said, all these files will be available at Patreon. The link will be in the description. I also want to mention EchoHive AI Academy at echohive.live. You can actually search all the videos that I have created with the code download links. Echohive.live. So we are importing SERP API and a calculator. We're going to use those as tools with our agent. We are defining our API key. Again, I have it defined. I have it pulled from my environment variables, both the OpenAI API key and SERP API, API key. And our model is the same. This time we're using a temperature of zero. We are defining our tools with a list to be SERP API and calculator. And now we're defining an async function called GPT call with the executor being the initialized agent executor with options. We put it, we, we insert as parameters the tools and the model and the agent type. We're using zero shot react description. And now we console.load loaded agent. Okay. Now we're defining two inputs. What is one input, but back to back? What is the latest version of Langchain? And what is it times 1000? So we're hoping that we're going to search Google, SERP API for Langchain, find its version number, and we're going to multiply it with 1000. And then we say console.log executing with input and we insert the input here and then we get the result with await executor call with that input which is this right here and then we log console log got output result dot output and then since the, we wrap this in a function we call that with gpt call with error catching let's run this when we run this executing with input what is the latest version of langchain what is times 1000 we get some warning but here in a moment we're actually going to get a response here we get a response say got output uh we got the output the latest version of langchain is 0, 0. 0.0.195 and times 1000 is 195 and if you look at langchain's documentation it is at 0. 0. 0.0.195 so this is how we can use agents in javascript next up is the memory we are importing open AI, buffer memory and conversation chain defining the api key model is the same with temperature of 0. 0.5 our memory is a new buffer memory. Chain is a new conversation chain with our model. It's designed, defined right here, and memory as defined right here. Now we create an async function called GPT call, which takes in an input. Currently, it's an empty string, right? Where we're going to put in whatever we like here. Then we get a response while evading chain.call with the input. And now we console log the response. Anytime you change the code, make sure to save it before executing in the terminal. And then we are evading to so the GPT call with these inputs. We do await so that we get the results in order. So if we run this, the first response should be regarding our name. It says, hi, Memo. It's nice to meet you. And the second one is your name is Memo, demonstrating that we now have created memory. But as you see, this is an object with a response key. If you just want the response, then all you have to do is raise that response to log into the console, save it, and run it again. And now we should only get the responses, hopefully. Hi, Memo. My name is AI, and your name is Memo. Here we go. So this is how we can implement memory JavaScript in from Langchain. Next is streaming. We just import OpenAI. We define a chat with OpenAI. Streaming set to true. Okay. Now we're defining some parameters. Callbacks being handle LLM token. We're defining a token process and to write the terminal. Write that token. Okay, you can also define other things here, such as model. So let's say GPT 3.5 turbo. You can also define your temperature. Okay, here we are using a function called call chat, return chat.call, write some reasons why JS is awesome, and now we await the response for that call. And now we run by calling nodes streaming.js, and here we go. We're getting streaming responses right here in bullet points. Now, we didn't really have to do it with a function. Okay, I'm going to comment this out and I'm just going to call it in line like this every chat.call, write some reasons why JS is awesome. Save that and run it, note, and then the name of the file. And again, we're getting a bullet point list of why JS is awesome. Let's take a look at the combine.js file. Here, I was just trying to demonstrate how we can combine some of the things we've learned. Let's start with a quick example where we're going to see how we can add memory and also streaming. Okay, just to show the modularity, we are importing OpenAI, buffer memory, and conversation chain, finding our API key, and then we are defining the model as 3.5 turbo with temperature 0 0.5, streaming set to true, and the callback is the handle LLM new token for streaming. 
Memory is the buffer memory, chain is the conversation chain, as we've seen earlier. And the async function GPT call takes in an input and then gets a response. We are not looping. Await chain.call with that input and we log the response of that. And now we're just going to await for both of these the same things we did earlier. But this time we're going to get streaming responses, uh, which works also with memory. We're going to say node. I'm going to just say C. So it's going to end on tab. So it finds combine.js. Let's run it. Oh, sorry, I had some code underneath, which we'll talk about here in a moment. But again, let's run it. Sorry, it was my mistake. Make sure to save it, of course. And now we get streaming responses. Hi, Memo. I'm an AI, and you say your name is Memo. But I hope, hopefully you saw that it was streaming. Let me run it again. There we go. So you can get streaming, working with memory. In the same file as combine.js, let's implement an agent with memory and with streaming functionality. I have commented out our regular GPT call function, which we have used. We can comment out the chain as well. We are keeping the memory and the model definition with streaming and callback. Here we are importing initialized agent from length chain and sort BI and calculator. We're going to use those as tools. And then our executor is defined as tools and models. So it's going to have streaming and also it's going to have memory right here. So when we ask the same question like we did before, let's combine that JS file. Now you can actually see the thought processes of the agent. I need to find the latest version of LangChain. It's doing a search. Then you're going to use the calculator. Here we go. This is pretty cool. It should now also have memory as well. So I just wanted to demonstrate how we can use these different parts like modules and build them together, bring them together and build something cool. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel if you like the content to be notified of the future videos. I just want to mention Echo Highway AI Academy again. Here you can search all the videos that I've created. You can actually browse them as well. You can click on the info to read the information about that description. You can also find the code download links. You can watch it right here. You can also search, for example, since we're doing length chain, as soon as you type, it's instant search. And so you can search the videos like this. This search box searches through the title and the description of the videos. Let's search for, let's say, JavaScript. And anything that has Java in it will display right here. Now there's this cool randomized button too. When you click it, it'll actually shuffle the results. So you can actually learn it random. Let's reload the page. You can use this in the main page just to randomly find a video. Or you can actually search for something like main chain and then actually when you use the shuffle button it'll shuffle the search results okay i'll see you in the next one take care